Hello YouTubers, this is the Tree and 60 Fun and in today's tutorial we'll be talking about the IUPAC nomenclature of bicyclo compounds. Bicyclo compounds are basically cycloalkanes, but they have two cycloalkanes uh, to attached together as we can see in this example. So the name of this compound will be bicyclo 220 hexate. Okay, so first let me tell you that we are writing this as bicyclo because there are two cycloalkanes attached together. And now you may wonder what are these three numbers about. The 2 to 0 are the number of carbons which are freely, freely present in this compound. So there are one carbon here, other one here, and in the next one we have here too. And this is the bridge between the two compounds. And so there's no carbon atom in the bridge, so we have written a zero out here. And hexane corresponds to the number of carbons present in this compound. And numbers are always arranged in decreasing order. Now let us take the example of this compound. So here we can see that this is a kind of bridge which attaches these two compounds and there's a carbon which is present in this bridge. So you may want to pause the screen and just try the sum for a minute if you want so you can press the pause button right now. Okay, so now the explanation for this one. The name of this compound will be bicyclo 221 heptane. Now let me tell you why. The two atoms for this one we have one, two. Two atoms for the first compound and there's the bridge. So and the other two comes from these two free carbons. And this one corresponds to the one carbon which is present between the two carbon uh, between the two carbon uh, cycloalkanes and this uh, and this carbon atom is present in a bridge and heptane because the total number of carbon atoms this is the reason why we have heptane here so you can try these things at uh, your own will you can see that the name of this compound is bicyclo 220 hexane Similarly, I've given other examples for this one, which is the bicyclo 320 heptane. And all of the rules of cyclic compounds are applicable in this, in this part of nomenclature of IUPAC. In case you haven't followed the tutorial for nomenclature of cycloalkanes, it, it might be a little difficult for you to know the uh, naming, uh, nomenclature of bicyclo compounds. If you haven't watched the video, you can check out from the channel and watch out the nomenclature of cycloalkanes as well. And I'll be talking about uh, compounds of naphthalene and other things and nomenclature in the next videos. So please subscribe and please do not forget to like the video as well. And thanks for watching. Thank you.